Hello everyone, welcome to December. Oh my god. How is it the end of 2023? The thing is, I remember about three years ago, me and Dan were planning out the 60th anniversary stuff in 2020. And that was whilst we were in lockdown. And I just realised as well, this month represents four years since COVID. God, uh, how, how is time doing this? But this is also the end of the ninth series of my monthly vlogs, which only means uh, that we're on to the tenth and final one next year, which, which is a really weird thing. We're going to have like our last January, our last February. It, it's going to be really an odd feeling. And, you know, Oh, like, because that's the thing. I've always wondered with the monthly vlog what it would be like to, um, when it's all over, to go back and watch, for example, only the Januaries or only like a specific month of every year to see how each month fared. You know what I mean? Like, what would happen if I watched every, every December, for example? You know, you'd see 10 Christmases over 10 years. And I just wondered what that would be like. And, and that's the thing, we're now about to reach a point where we'll be on the, this is, this is the penultimate December, but, um, it, you know, there will be this time next year, will be the final December. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. Because I, I've been wondering how I'd end it. That's the thing, like how I'd end it, like would, um, cause I always have the clip begin with the five, four, three, two, one, and then we go happy new year. But oh, I can't have that next year. <laughs> I, I can't have it next year. That's what's weird. Cause next year, uh, well, there won't be a 2025 to record. God, that, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't be having this. This is a year away. Like, why am I doing it now? I don't know. But nonetheless, um, I've just finished editing the podcast. I'm having tons of issues with rendering this podcast because, and I don't know why, but when I render it out, it takes forever to render um, the visual. I mean, like, the audio is fine, but I've decided to add something a little bit different into the, into the um, podcast and everything moving forward. Now that there's a bit more time to afford... I'm going to start making the trailers a little bit more visual rather than just a picture with the background and it being quite static. I'm actually going to have things moving and that happened today with the first Doctor Adventures trailer, which you may play here. <laughs> but yes, um, I, I wanted to go through some, I wanted to go through something a bit more like that and try new things and there are going to be some things that come out that may not have that same effect, but you'll, we'll see it, we'll see it. And, um, yeah, in the end of the day, I, I want to give this a go, you know, give this a proper go and, you know, try and take over to audio to the next level in terms of the quality I can deliver, because it's become a lot about quantity. And there are some things that people like and there are some things that people don't like. But the main thing being is, It's about trying to find a balance. And I still want to try and maintain decent quality, but I might not be able to do that. <laughs> yes, that's the problem. I want to, but now I'm at a point where we're at the end of the five years of Overton Audio's solid, non-stop releases. If you were a part of it, then I hope you had fun. If you weren't a part of it and are only finding this for the first time, then you've got five years of content. And I'm slowing down and to give you time now um ultimately there's a lot more people who watched my audios at the very beginning of the five years who are now actually making their own content now and are struggling to keep up with it all so it's good to slow down because then people who weren't making their own projects who are now can still make that and then be able to hopefully still catch up with what i'm doing that, that's my hope at least because because I remember, you know, there were people who were really engaged in my stuff who do still engage, but take a little while because 
they're doing their own things. And that's understandable. You know, things change in five years. And there's so much content already out there. And I feel like there's been a massive resurgence this year, especially in fan content, because of the 60th. I don't know how that will fare going into um, next year. But it'll be interesting to see. And ultimately, I also need to give myself time to have a life. Because that's something that I need to also do. I'm also having different role responsibilities at work. Um, there's so much now. Um, and, I, and I need to evaluate things. Like, for example, the Toverton podcast that I make with Abby on TT Productions. That's actually ending. Number one, because we just don't have time. Um, a lot of the stuff that you see as segments, we don't necessarily record specifically for the podcast. We just take old behind the duvet stuff that they that they recorded a while ago and put that up with it, and it's not worth it. It's not worth the time and the editing. We we are starting. Um, well, we we did actually start this podcast back in July. If you go back to the July vlogs, if you're inclined to. Uh, then the description I post everything that I was a part of that came out that month. Um, I've been doing that the whole of this, uh, all the series. But you'll see links for Dripping Hartnell podcast. Now, the Dripping Hartnell podcast is something we were making every two to three weeks. And where we would watch something from the classic era. And then we would talk about it. But we were tried doing it on its own YouTube channel and it wasn't doing well. So what we've decided to do is put it onto Overton Audio. So the only problem is, is that we've recorded ten um, that means January next month is just full of podcasts. Um, like the obviously you've got the Overton Audio's podcast. We've got the New Year's Day special. Um, we've got, as I mentioned in the Overton Audio's podcast, anyway. We've got the King of Rock short trip being re-released. Then we've got hopefully Transcending Time. I put that down for being in January because it's been done for two years, and then another volume afterwards, which is the Thirteenth Doctor. Adventures, which has also been done for two years. So, oh, it's so much fun. So much fun trying to, you know, catch up and get all of this out finally because I've been wanting it out for so long. It's just, you know, the 60th, everything had to pause so that we could get the 60th out. So, yeah, now we're at a position where things would be good and I've been talking for seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm hoping that I get a lot more Christmas content out this month because me and my partner are going to be going out and and uh going to like little christmas villages like you know the one in leicester square for example we want to go there and we want to do more christmasy things so yeah and I, I always kind of wanted to but i don't want to go by myself and no one's really free around this sort of time so it makes sense so yeah enjoy the rest of this month good oh right here we go <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to the podcast, and I am here with Matt Tyrell and Thomas Aidan James. Hello, everyone. Hello, Connor. How are you? Hello, I'm Connor. good, thanks. How are, how are you both doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. I, uh, it's good to be back here after our, my last trip into the adventures of Overton Audio's podcast. I believe that was in September, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, because that was after the Minnesota to come out oh, yeah. like the big announcement <laughs> and uh and uh thomas how are you oh, i'm fine yeah um just a bit cold obviously it's uh i think we're recording this it's re during the colder seasons so yeah. uh yeah i'm still feeling a bit of the cold really um i'm hoping that uh it will warm up soon but obviously knowing uh end of the year when we're recording this, obviously, uh, is coming soon. It's it's not going to warm up. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. So, something I wanted to quickly talk to you about, which I think I briefly mentioned earlier, or last month, can't remember. We're doing a new podcast. I know, yet another podcast. Basically, currently, I'm doing the Overton Audios podcast and the Toverton podcast. We are ending the Toverton podcast this month. Behind the duvet is essentially, you know, it's a, it's a behind the scenes but for a specific project. And that's something that um, she's working on, I'm going to bring back. Um, I think they've got some coming out just before the end of the year anyway that will also feature in the final Toverton podcast. But also since July, I think it is since July, and that's what's weird, um, we have actually been making a podcast called the Dripping Hartnell Podcast. Now, the reason why it's called Dripping Hartnell Podcast 
um, is because Abby made me this, which is obviously this is uh, the first Doctor played by William Hartnell in the toy maker's chair, but it's made of these little beads. And when she put them on, you have to put a layer of glue on top of it. So when she held it up, all this glue came running off of it. And we said, oh my God, it's a dripping Hartnell. And then that's just kind of the name we went with for the podcast. But we talk about Doctor Who episodes, not in any particular order, but it is starting tonight at 6 p.m. with um, the, the Destination Scaro review. And then tomorrow at midday for the Star Beast. And then we're going to do it weekly for every episode that's out. Might be a little bit more difficult with Christmas. But we'll see. And um, yeah, basically we're going to do a podcast for every time a new Doctor episode comes out. But also simultaneously, when it's not on, we're going to be watching classic episodes. And new era or new Who episodes. And we're just going to be reviewing them. We've actually already recorded about 11 of them. They were originally going out on the Dripping Hartnell YouTube channel. And if you go through my um, previous vlogs this year, you'll see them in the description anyway for that channel. But we're going to be re-uploading them twice a week until we've caught up for, um, for on Overton Audio, is basically. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing that and... Um, yeah, that that will then afterwards it should go to every week or fortnightly until the series begins, and then we go from there. Really, um, I think we're taking a bit of a pause at the moment because we don't know when the series is going to be coming back, and that would mean that we can't. That's why I'm trying to get us caught up. But as a result, my whole thing about not doing so many releases on Overton Audio has kind of got out the window. So next month you'll see more podcasts than audio dramas. Um, which of course is up to people if they want to watch that or listen to that, if they leave and like it. Um, so, yeah, we've got a New Year's Day special for the Alacrity Doctor coming out. I don't even know if I said what, what Doctor it was, actually. But, yeah, there you go. And then the week after that on the Saturday is the New Year Overton Audios podcast. And it, if it comes out, we haven't actually obviously recorded it. Um, and then... And then... Um, Every Tuesday and Thursday in January, on every Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays of that week, of those, yeah, you get what I mean, uh, will be a new episode of Dripping Hartnell. Um, and I've got it timed up that it will go to the middle of February, twice a week, um, if we record any more. I believe we're taking a break for Christmas with Doctor Who specials, so we'll be watching stuff like Fatal Death, um, the probably the Children Need specials, and just be talking about them generally. But... Um, no, we wanted to start reviewing series 14, but then the 60th was coming out. We realised, oh, this might have to come out sooner. So these specials will come out, these special podcast episodes will come out. And then following that will be um, the catching up with the series. And when it, again, when it's caught up, we'll see what we do, whether it's weekly or not. But I was thinking about at a certain point making it weekly, even if we've got a bit of a backlog... Because my channel is just going to become full-on Dripping Hartnell podcast and it's just not really fair to push all the other audio dramas away. You know, I, I want to try and keep things consistent so people can still see the latest update. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, so yeah, anyway, I will speak to you later. But that's the plan, basically. Dripping Hartnell uh, coming on Overton Audios uh, today and tomorrow. So yes. Anyway, very well. <laughs>Well, thank you for joining us for this little mini-sode of the Dripping Hartnell podcast. Uh, next week, we are discussing the Star Beast, or whenever, I say next week, whenever it's going to be out. Next because, episode. Because, <laughs> because, because, episode. Yeah, yeah because, because, uh, because we totally don't record these in advance. No, nope, I absolutely not know. At all. I absolutely know when the when the release date. It's also probably are. clarify that this is probably going to be the first one that goes out on Overton Audios. That is true. Hey, Hello, yeah. uh, because we're releasing well, these ones actually as they come out, and then we'll be releasing the rest of the series in the new year. Yeah. Twice. Yes. 
So hello, hello Overton again. Audios listeners. Hello, Overton Audios. <laughs> I'll help hello, you. Hello, 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 Michael Cox. Run. Great, great to talk to you. <laughs> oh, Michael Cox. Bye, Bye Michael. Bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. It's been a very busy week, as you've probably seen from the fact I was on site with alarms going off and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, I mentioned earlier this month I was supposed to be going to a Christmas market, um, and I have not. Um, basically, what's happened is the train strikes. They have royally, royally ruined any plans I've really had to basically do anything. Work-wise, I can still go to work, sure, but the train strikes are still awful. <laughs> um, it's just really ruined a lot of my plans, and it's really annoying. I don't really, it's not, because the thing is, I don't really talk about it this much, but money has been a bit of a struggle this year because of all the inflation and everything costing so much. And I would really saved up quite a bit for this. Like, I, I'm a bit, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get too political about it, I'm just going to say this, which is, I was all for the train strikes when it was coming down to the pen their pensions being taken away. I think you should be... I think you should bloody have a pension. The fact it was taken away by the by, you know, Mayor of London and everything like that, you know, you need to have it back, and I completely stand behind that. But now, I I've, I've keep hearing in the news, there's been two deals made since then about other aspects, and they're still striking. And I'm like, look, I, with all due respect here, like, what is going on? <laughs> like, I, I can't even... I haven't seen my partner now in about a month. Obviously, there's a bit of distance between us. But also, simultaneously... <sighs> these bloody trains! <laughs> like, I honestly, the train journey is, like, tough enough anyway. But... With the trains then not working, the, honestly, the amount of times we've had to cancel meetups because of the bloody train strikes, genuinely, I, it, it's getting, it's, I think there's about five or so times, and I think we've only really, like, I think that's nearly half of the times we've tried to meet up. Um, it's just awful. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, um, there's that. Greetings, and welcome back to another train video with Trevor's. Um, it's all very empty at the moment, but that's because I'm here early for this train. But I thought I might as well give an update, because I don't do that often. Somehow, through making the, through making the release schedule, um, for next year for Overton Audio is really, really relaxed, I've ended up making more, and it's weird. It's not weird, it's probably because I've relaxed the stress of it, so I'm not getting overly tired more, I'm just, you know, so I've, I've actually got stuff coming out, plus we've got the Dripping Hartnell podcast, which meant that things were coming out, which meant I wouldn't need to be stressed. Overall, it's all quite nice. It's very nice, in fact, to be able to feel like I'm getting stuff done. I've got the next track in time done, which um, took me two years nearly. Um, the last one came out in November 2022 and that was um, Blom the Blonde Doctor and um, uh, the Eighth Doctor. Whereas now the next one that's about to come out will be the Seventh Doctor and the Northern Doctor and that will be coming out well, for next month now, about just over a month away. Which isn't too terrible, it's quite decent I think. And then we've got almost all of February's releases done already. How have I done this? Um, mainly because I've had a lot of very nice, lovely, and talented friends helping me edit whilst I've been very busy. A lot of stuff's going to change for me next year as well. Obviously, I'm talking about this on the finale of this year, but um, a lot of things are going to be changing for me at work. And that will mean that um, audios do become a little bit of a, of a backseat thing, sadly. Um, I love making them, and I will continue to make them, but they will just take a bit of time now. So yeah, um, other than that, I'm heading home after a day on site, so that's fun. And um, I'm looking okay. Um, tired, probably. Yeah, there you go. That's a tired mess for you. Yeah. This is the Greater Andrea service to Colchester Town. Oh, there you go. Right 
no, it's, it's, it's looking good to be really good. And I'm, I'm also collaborating on more. Like, for example, there's another thing with TT Productions coming out called Tusks of London. That's the finale of the series. And uh, wraps up everything in a nice, neat bow. And, um... What else is coming out? I did some short stories with TT Productions, just narrations. Um, I've got scripts to write. God, I've got so much to do. But no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. When it's done. And um, I'll hopefully be writing some other things to collaborate more with other people as well, but I don't want to talk about that as I've not written it. Um, I'm aware that Torchwood, the next the third volume of Torchwood, is taking its time. It is certainly doing that. Um, but we are planning on catching up now. We are. We have now actually got one episode fully recorded after nearly a year. <laughs> it's it's really taking its time, but I'm really hoping that the quality of the storytelling shot through still for people. That would be nice. Anyway, I will speak to you later. Overton Audios presents. Charlie, oh thank goodness I finally found you. You're an idiot. Charlie. You really think if you show up and just invite me back, I'll come? Wait, no, this isn't- I have people to look after now. Josh, where are you? All aboard. We're not supposed to be here. You are stowaways. Uh, unintentionally, I promise. My friend here, Charlie. Um, is looking for her brother, Josh. Once on board the Christmas Express, you cannot get off. The Christmas Express? Krampus's workshop, I take it? Most likely. It's a bit... Empty. Yes. Come on, I'll have the kids somewhere. The North Pole? <laughs> what have you been told, mate? We ain't going to the North Pole. Then where are we going? Oh, come on, we'll talk as we walk. I shouldn't have put you in that situation. And trust me, I have felt guilty about that every day since I left. Doctor Who, The Blonde Doctor Adventures, The Spirit of Christmas, coming the 25th of December at 12pm. Hello, Glinda. Oh no. He's just a poser. What well, if they all lined up for like the photo? There's a big gear there, so maybe they're used for. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look, some of them are running around. Oh, you got yeah, sometimes you flash, I saw them flashing. Mm -hmm. But today, today one of the little ones licked me. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at the size of this. That was one of the best experiences for look me. Look at the size of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are like the male ones. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're going to kick off. Oh, they're obviously being fed or something. But Oh, that's great. I'm going to film this. Yeah, yeah, you might do that thing. It's none. Hello. So, um, no, it's, I did something I never, never usually do on these vlogs. Which is, I'm refilming the ending. Um, the only reason I'm doing that is because this year was a very interesting one, and it 
it has a lot of ups and downs, mostly downs, sadly. Um, it isn't... I was just very... Basically, I, I took on a lot of the bad stuff that had happened and put that down to myself. Um, and a couple of friends, including my partner, who, who uh, watched the clip because I wanted to get some opinions if I was being a bit too, you know... Um, was well, not not too open, but you know what I mean. I don't want to like allude to people specifically. Um, apparently, I was too harsh on myself. <laughs> is what was actually being said. Um, but um, no, no. So I'll, I'll try and be a bit more balanced now. Um, as we all know, at the beginning of this year, I went to the Cardiff trip, um, at the, which was at the end of January. Had a lot of fun. It's taken me a whole year now, but I do remember mostly good things from that now. Um, it's taken me a while to get there. Um, a lot of people see the audios, not the audios, the short films that are coming out of that. Like, for example, on New Year's Eve, um, the first part of Doctor Who Multiversal will be coming out, which is filmed in that Cardiff trip. Um, no, but there was something very personal that happened to me there. It resulted in one of the worst mental breakdowns I've ever had. Um, it, it had a kind of crescendo effect where I just haven't been well for a very long time and this year has been a very much a rebuilding year but as a result it's meant that I haven't been the best version of myself and I've missed things I feel like I feel like there were dramas this year that could have easily been avoided if people had just kept a level head that includes myself and that, that hadn't happened. And as a result, people fell out and people distanced. And basically, it all resulted... And that mainly, mainly happened in between March and May. Um, and then in August, a lot of us started to come back together again. And that's when the rebuild really started to happen. And as you know, from sort of August to now, or well, last month, we were all kind of so 60th anniversary based. We were all able to come together and work on things again. It's just that obviously like we've all got our own kind of circles now, which means we're not really as we were. And that's not a bad thing, because at the end of the day, more people involved, more friendships involved, it's always a good thing. Um, it was just one of those things where the damage that had been done at the beginning of the year had meant that there was no way you could go back to the way that things were. And that's not... It's both sad, but also good, because it meant that, you know, new people, meeting new friends, etc. You know, it's that sort of thing. Um, and it's always nice to do that I uh, just wish it could have been under better circumstances of, of course um, overall I'm hoping that next year we can avoid meaningless arguments and drama and yeah with a potentially potentially a particularly hard hit in August we had a big summer meetup and we had a lot of fun um but things happened from it as a result um the result well the result of what happened there would have been always the same but it was made infinitely complicated by the fact that in trying not to jump to conclusions and also trying to be level-headed with things like we were trying to be again it meant that the whole system got more and more complicated when it should have actually been simple. And as a result, there was a lot of divisiveness. Um, but I think we're through that now. And it's a real shame what ended up happening there. I, guess I'm not, I know I'm not saying anything. I know I'm not saying anything specific just because this is going online. I don't want to become the subject of gossip, is my saying I've always said when it comes to these dramas. I don't like becoming the subject of gossip. I know that what I'm talking about currently in itself, without saying anything, will encourage gossip and will certainly encourage um, potentially people to start talking 
uh, about what that could be and what it could, what it definitely is, and even though the whole story isn't there. Um, but I feel like when it comes to reviewing the end of these these years, I have to be as honest as I can be. Obviously, whilst being aware of the fact that beyond me watching this back when I'm older, that there is an existing audience currently who like watching these vlogs. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, ultimately I'm hoping that things can come back together again. And it's a shame really, because in 2022, we ha I had a lot of arguments with people, um, namely silly arguments about the whole continuity of DW2012 fan universe. Um, I think that's pretty much everyone knows a piece of that by, char by, by now anyway. Um, it didn't go well, I, I, that didn't go well, um, and I made a conscious effort not to have that in 2023, and then I, I dropped the ball, I dropped the ball massively, and I know a lot of people who are, who are in my life have said that I didn't because I was going through my own problems and breakdowns as it was anyway, but I want to be better than that, I want to be able to kind of be a bit more level-headed in future, and as we go into the final year of these vlogs, I'd like to try and do that and be better. Um, but ultimately, still, I, I suppose also next next month as well, with, with the guys from Overton Audios and stuff, things get a lot more casual. And it's weird, things becoming more casual has actually meant that I've got more done, which is sometimes the way that life works sometimes. Um, like, we've already got up to March now finished in terms of any releases. But that's because we're not doing multiple releases a week again. We're sticking to strictly Saturdays. And then what we're also doing is we're doing a bit of a Toverton thing. And then you know, I go about Toverton, but the SoundCloud, the Overton Audio SoundCloud, is now going to merge and be run between myself and Abby Louise, who's at TT Productions. Um, she will be running um, her stuff onto the SoundCloud. So it's available for offline listening for people as well. And we'll be talking more about that probably in a vlog at some point or do a special podcasty thing, or whatever. <laughs> but yes, um, we will go into that more later. So yes, indeed. <laughs> anyway, I will, I will speak to you all next year. Again, I will aim to be better. Um, I think everyone, to be honest, I know, could have done something better this year. And we, I mean, it's always a good thing to try and endeavour to be better. Obviously, you don't know if I've done anything wrong in the first place, but there's a whole learning curve, and we are in the process of rebuilding and trying to, trying, obviously it might not work for everyone, but trying to heal uh, wounds from this year, um, and hopefully we can. So anyway, I will speak to you later. Enjoy this 2023 compilation of all the good times we had. Um, and yes, I will see you next next year, next month, for the final January of the, of, of the series. I'm kind of weirded out that it's finally here. We've been talking about it for like nearly four or five years. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> I will see you later. Welcome to January. Hello. And welcome to the February 2023 podcast. Obviously. Oh, <laughs> 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 and welcome to March. Oh. Welcome to April. I think this is actually the beginning of April. Connor's monthly vlog. I'm real. Some people don't know I'm real. I finally met Chadis. Hello, this is Chadis' vlog. Um, what month is it? Like July? <laughs> it's gonna be August. Oh, August then. It's currently July. Makes no sense. Welcome to September. Ooh.
and welcome to Connor's monthly vlog in October. Spooky season. Woo. Hello everyone, welcome to December. Oh my God. Walkie pen, walkie pen. The uh, accurate representation of Connor. Because I'm just not a fan of the character. Shush! Lucas in fireworks. I'm a Oh, what? Oh, POV getting next. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Here you go, Connor. Oh, thanks, babe. Till next month, Connor. Till next month, Abitha. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.